we, we got, got Chris. E Bobo. We got Chris versus Chris, commentated by Chris. That's <laughs> 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 a good point. Okay. So if I remember correctly, the last time these two bad boys played was at a meta, right? Aeon? Meta slash Aeon? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, no. They, 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 uh, unless, unless they played here. They, oh, never mind. They played, played last week. week. Okay. How did that go? Quinn? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Last time I saw these two players at metal, but yeah. It, it, it makes sense for them to run into each other at Encore. Yeah. I was saying earlier, it's, I don't think it's really going to be a set of too much adaptation. I think it's mostly just going to be like, who's playing better? Uh, yeah. It's because they no. played a lot, I have to imagine. Yeah, no, that's true. And I feel like... I don't want to call either of these characters linear at all, but like, I feel like once you like, you know... It, 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 you know, it doesn't take, you know, a, a, a bright guy to, you know, realize what to do, you know? Yeah. Run, you run off and you down your nest, you know? Yeah, the counterplay is pretty clear on both sides. Yeah, it doesn't take a genius, but... Whoa, disadvantage shape by Quid. <laughs> what, do the whoa, one in the up air? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the double nair up view. No, nice. it was good, yeah. Oh, the double PK fire. He got to kill all of them, Kind of buddy would just around for the back here. Okay, Quinn rolled on the platform. I don't think that's what he wanted. Dude, the evasive movement from Quinn there Ooh, was so good. That was really good. That was really good on Chris. He punished the mistech with the Razor Leaf Uppy. Yeah, and now Quinn knows Chris so makes, uh, likes to make a lot of preemptive decisions in his pressure because they're all very safe. And so Quinn, knowing that, went for a lot of very smart evasive actions there. Was able to get a stock off it. Ooh. Ultimately dies there, though. Good yo-yo, catching the jump. Nice little active hitbox. And we got a little bit of a one-stock lead. The squirrel combos, nice. the bread and butter, the classic, the classic. I like, I like how good Quaid is to take confirming off his forward tilts though. He's not, he doesn't make preemptive decisions off the forward tilt. Yeah, no, that's definitely a, a good, a good squirrel tactic that he that he has in his arsenal. It'll, it allows him to go for very safe, very annoying pressure. Yes. Ooh, converting off of that nair. I don't know if that was true, but still, down yeah, smash. Yeah, yeah it covers all the options because they're a ledge. And now Quaid is just running away with this advantage because he's squirtle. And that's what Squirtle does sometimes. And this is what PT should do more. They should play play a lot more Squirtle. And then misses the down air. A little bit too preemptive. No jump? Wow. Okay. Probably not intentional on that horse man. Yeah, nah, I don't think I don't know. Oh, no double jump no, though. Yeah, this is hard. Ooh, wow. Oh, we just oh land. Thought, he, thought he thought he'd go off stage. Thought yeah. he'd go off stage. <laughs> I hate that interaction. Good air dodge. Okay. Yeah, very well timed. Okay, does he just get down it here? Yes, oh he does. Oh my god, he got hit? Yeah, no, that was just like a one of the. That was just a very, very well spaced down air. What the heck? I guess that was good. I guess I, was just, I did not expect that to hit. I mean, yeah, that's um, that's Ivy down air. Have you seen that that freaking that down air hitbox, bro? That's that's that, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's crazy. It is. It is. It it's is. it's a big move. It's just a big circle. It's no, so you're funny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like there's nothing, there's nothing to it. There's a big circle, and then there's like a smaller circle inside, and that's like the strong at box. <laughs> but it's all just IV down air. Wow. Okay, going to FD. What song are they gonna pick? Splatoon. We're picking music? Splatoon music. Is that the move? Okay, we're not. Unless we're going Sonic. Sonic. Okay. This is a, this is yeah, this is a good song. Rooftop run. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's a little short, but it's a Corrin. No, he does not play Corrin. He doesn't play. He does not I, I, play Duck I mean, Hunt Dog. He does not. I don't think play he plays Dog. anybody but Ness. But I don't know this guy. I don't he know. Maybe does maybe not he's got play a, Duck Hunt Dog. Maybe his Duck goes hard. I just I know for a fact he's gonna pick Ness. No, you don't. I do. You don't know. You don't know Jack, buddy. No. Okay. Isn't that insane? You don't know Jack. Isn't that crazy? This guy could go. This guy could go Pac-Man for all you know. No, Quid's Pac-Man is amazing. I've just never seen Big Chris pick another character. Me, neither have I. <laughs> So let's see how this game three works out. The FD pick. Yeah, FD Squirtle combos. Yeah, notoriously pretty good for now, so this makes sense. Yeah, that's why I was curious. And like, you know, PT, the one thing that, you know, they all, you know, complain about is that, you know, all hurt a dirt or bad disadvantage. Yeah. But like, no, that's not true. their disadvantage is just as bad as like anybody else's normal disadvantage. Yeah. Unless you have like a disadvantage skip, like some of the top players do. Yeah, like realistically, no one has a bad disadvantage unless you're either like, you Never. know, really slow. Uh, have a big hurt box, or have horrible like frame data. PT oh. has like none of those. Yeah, or I'd argue, or a bad recovery. Or a bad recovery. But PT once again, PT, ha PT has none of those. So, yeah, PT just has a regular disadvantage. Yes. Oh, Nair combo. Oh, yeah. yeah. Quid is just like, okay, Quid is using Ivy Nair at like low percents. I feel like he's playing as if as if he were Yoshi. 
and like 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 with Yoshi Downer, like yeah. how Miles like pushes yeah. for Yoshi Downer at low percent. It's like their juiciest combo. Though. Yeah, no, it's it's very it is juicy because it it's a big. Well, that was a good. That was a good double back air. He, it's like a big long lasting hitbox, and it's like if you just get clipped by it, like you know, it could lead to either another one, maybe an up air. You know, it could lead to a lot of things. Like you know, so it's like the same concept as Palomar. Yeah. Obviously not the same, but you know, same concept. Yeah. Air dodge, yeah. A very, just a very good anti-jump tool, and Ness's grounded options aren't spectacular, so he does want to Exactly. Like, Chris is able to call out his, these jumps and, like, read him with, read his air, air drift. Don't call him Chris. Ivy Sword. Oh, it's yeah, very, not, very quit. ambiguous. That's like, okay, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> That's like the first time I called him like Chris. I know. But, um, yeah, no. And then, which, which really makes me surprised to see him doing so well with Squirtle, staying grounded all the time. Which is like, you know, against this nest, it's like always in the air, throwing out aerials, and then good time down air. Nice. Nah. Yeah. Nice. Standard, standard edge guard. Like we said, it's not, it's not, it's nothing special, you know. This is this is this Pokemon trainer. Yeah. They're they're the kinks in their armor are pretty pretty easy to see. Ooh, that was a bad PK fire. Oh, triple fair. What the hell? Oh, good turnaround. Oh my god. What is this moving? Oh, okay. I'm surprised they haven't hit. To be honest. Chris yeah, disadvantage, yeah. Dodge. That's that. Because the threat is, if he does the early neutral air, uh, and you get hit by it, then you're, then you're sent dead. outward yeah, and you're going to explode. Or if he